Hi everyone, how's it going? My name is Daryl. Welcome back to this series. In the previous lessons, we just learned how to create a notebook instance. And then on top of this notebook instance, we just learned how to build and also train an Amazon SageMaker models within the environment. And in these lessons, what we're going to do is to let you know how to deploy and also test the Amazon SageMaker endpoint. And with this SageMaker endpoint, we can serve our customer. So in these lessons, we will continue to be the chef. In the previous lessons, we just learned how to set up the notebook instance, just like set up the kitchen. And then we know how to train up the staff, how to prepare the recipe. And now we are ready to create this endpoint to prepare the dish to serve our customer. Ready to go? Let's get started. This is the SageMaker's notebook instance that we've created so far. And inside this uh, notebook instance, we have this SageMaker XGB stock price predictions should be the notebook. And then in this notebook, um, there are a few key steps that we've done so far, including creating S3 buckets that allow us to upload our training and validation CSV um, over, over there. And this is how we prepare our data. And just a very quick recap, remember that the first columns is uh, by default is the target and then the and then after that, these are all the features that allow us to um, to to predict these targets. This is the XGBoot boot framework setting uh, or the algorithm setting. So once we have these S3 buckets um, ready and also these uh, CSV files ready, the train and test CSV file are ready, we then build our XGBoot models and based on a as a built-in algorithm and then once we um, build this uh, build this XGBoost uh, models we then um, we then use an estimator to fit these models and this is where we are so far now once we we've done the training the key parts that we would like to do now is to let me make it better is to deploy the train that XGBoost model as send endpoints. This is what we're going to, 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 to do in this lesson. For us to serve our customer and build these endpoints, there are a few things that we need to consider. Um, the first things that we need to consider is the uh, is the environment in the futures when we make this inference. So whether or not these uh, endpoints will be within the SageMakers or outside the SageMakers. So if that is the outside the SageMaker, it would be better for us to do the serializations by the endpoints. But of course, if that is within, still within the SageMaker environment, then we can do these uh, serializations uh, by ourselves. The second things that we need to consider is the methods to invoke the uh, these endpoints. Whether or not we're going to use a APIs to invoke these endpoints, or we would like to use a S3 bucket to invoke these endpoints. Because sometimes we might want to have a batch predictions have lots of the samples that we would like to uh, these we would like these endpoints to help us to make the predictions. In that case, it would be much more easier for us to use uh, a S3 bucket. On the other hand, is that we just would like to make a single predictions. Uh, it would be much easier for us to uh, invoke these endpoints with the use of API or the Amazon API gateway. The final points that we need to consider is the data types um, based on the methods. Um, because for API, if we are going to use APIs, um, it, it would be much more easier for us to use a JSON format. On the other hand, if we are going to use 
the S3 buckets to invoke the endpoints, then it would be much more easier for us to use the CSV file. So the whole point is like, um, so, the, so the whole idea is like, we create a S3 bucket, and then when we upload the CSV file over there, what we wanted to perform a batch predictions with the information provided in the CSV. It, once we upload this file, that will trigger these endpoints. That is the whole point. But in our in our cases, we want to do this outside the SageMaker and we want to use the API gateway. In that case, our customer will use the JSON format to send us the raw information or the raw data that allow us to make the predictions. And then with this JSON file via the API, via the API gateway, that will trigger the Lambda functions and that will trigger these um, endpoints and invoke the endpoints and make the inference. That is the whole idea. So a uh, few things, uh, just a very quick recap. What we are going to do is that we would like to deploy our endpoints outside the SageMaker in the Lambda environment. And then we're going to use API methods to invoke the endpoints with the JSON format. So that is what we're going to do. Now we've decided how to deploy um, this endpoint. We can use this uh, a deploy method of the XGBoost model estimator that we just create. Uh, we use these um, doxy functions to create this estimator. And now we have this estimator we can use the deploy methods to deploy the final model there are few key parameters inside this deploy method first of all we need to define the initial instance this is the number of instances that we would like to deploy the models that we would like to run these models and then the instant types that is the uh, that is to decide to, uh, how to uh, operate your deployed models and how fast or how uh, or or what kind of computational power that you would like to use to operate your deployed model. And in our case, because normally uh, when we do the training, we need more computational power. So as long as you set the computational power equals to these instant types that would be that would be enough because you when you are doing the prediction you do not need so much computational power so the so the instant types are just set it as what we have uh, while we train the model and then for the instant uh, for the initial instant i just set it equals to one that means we're going to have a one uh, comp compute um, uh, instance to help us to serve this model. And the most important part here is to use this CSV serializer. That is the final arguments that I would like to put it over here. This is that, uh, this is, um, this input argument will help us to serialize the input of different formats to a CSV format string. Remember that when we train up the model, we, we did use the CSV format. Let me show you. Um, here we go. When we train up the models, we defined the data types of the training and also validation data set as a CSV format. So, in this case, we also need to provide a CSV format the string to this XGBoo um, uh, to this XGBoo's endpoint. So therefore, we are going to use this CSV serializer. You can do it um, within this endpoint, or you can do these serializations after um, after you create this endpoint. But that is not possible for us because, in, uh, because later on, 
the Lambda model is not within this SageMaker. So we need to prepare these serializations within this endpoint when we create this endpoint. So once you once you click the cell, once you want the cell, and then it will take a few minutes to um, to deploy the, to to create this uh, endpoint. So this is ready. I've already run this cell. Now let me show you the endpoint. This is the name that we need to specify in the Lambda functions. Uh, but I will show you later. But for the time being, uh, just remember that um, we once we have these endpoints, this is the endpoint. We can use these endpoint methods, endpoint name methods to show the endpoint names, and we will use this endpoint name uh, later on. And we're ready to use um, these endpoints to make some predictions. And let me just. Uh, capture some data from the Yahoo Finance, say um, we just captured these uh, informations for, uh, from the January 4th of the um, of Apple's uh, stock price informations and then we just prepare the data feature uh, in NDA wave format. <clears throat> this is the NDA wave format. Uh, we just uh, capture the opens high low close and also the volume of these um of the of the corresponding features and now we can do the serializations let me show you how to do the serializations within the SageMaker by SageMaker function first and then i will show you how to use the serial how to do the serializations by the built-in functions which is lambda functions friendly first thing first let me show you how to put these data features uh, which is in numpy in the await to make the predictions and uh, this is the result if i use this uh, xgboost uh, predictor that is the endpoint use the predict methods and provides these uh, and data features in NumPy and the array format, and then it will make the predictions. This decode is to change the format of byte to this uh, format of the string. Uh, let me show you the string. Uh, let me show you the format. This is the format of this predicted result. And this is the string. If I do not use these decode methods, and this the class will be a byte, and you can also see that there's a byte over here, a b over here. So let's use the decode methods, and because we use we set this serializers within this endpoint, so we can just um simply put our data features, um data features in array formats to make these predictions. And I also want to show you how, uh, just in case, if we do not, uh, if we do not um, make this, uh, we, if we do not embed this CSV serializers over here, what we can do. So within a SageMaker environment, we can import this uh, CSV serializer. And this serializer can help us to serialize the input data into a CSV into a um, into a CSV format. So we use we in, just import these CSV serializers and then use a serialize methods to serialize this and the numpy away. This is the away, <clears throat> and then let me print you the result. So this is um, the serialized input by use of the functions in the SageMaker. 
and then the tight is a string. Again, we can do a prediction. And for this time, we will use these serialized input um, data uh, by, by, by use the SageMaker functions and then to make the to do the predictions. Now, if I run this out, you can see again, it will provide you a similar output. The same output should be. However, when we set up the API gateways uh, or the Lambda functions, the data provided to these endpoints would not be an, in NumPy and the await or we cannot import these uh, SageMakers uh, or this CSV serializer in our Lambda environment. So in that case, we need to use another method. So now let's consider we have this input data and then we put it uh, a list of list to contains um, these features that we have. And this, um, the, the reasons why we put it as a list of lists and that it's mainly because the user, it allows the user to provide us a multiple row of um, features and then that allow us to put them, do a multiple uh, inference with the use of endpoints. So it would be better for us to put it in a uh, to set up a list of list inputs. And then under the Lambda functions, uh, we are not allowed to, we, we are not able to use um, these uh, imports, these CSV serializers. So in that case, we, we, we would like to use these join maps functions to, um, to serialize the inputs. And this is the input. I just take out the first uh, elements inside this list of lists and then we will map it as a string convert them as a string and then join them with the use of a commerce and that will help us to serialize the uh, inputs and if I print you the result you can see this will be exactly the same as the inputs um, that we use a SageMaker functions. So now we are ready to use these serialized uh, inputs to make the prediction. Uh, oh, sorry, I just copied the wrong functions. So let me change it back to show you that um, they are the same. Cool. Again, now we can make the prediction. Uh, for this time, we are not using the SageMaker functions to to do to convert the uh, input data. We just um, do it by our by the methods that uh, allowed to be used in the Lambda functions. So this is the serialized input over here, and if we make the predictions, you can see now everything are the same. As well as if um, we use the same, we use the function. So that's it for this lesson. We just learned how to deploy our train the XGB models as an endpoint, and then we just learned how to use uh, how to serialize the, our input, and then use this um, XGB predictor the endpoints to make predictions. So in the next lessons, we will learn how to build the Lambda functions and set up the Lambda functions in the AWS environment to connect to these endpoints. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye.